This is Arts Alive. I'm Linda Philippi. My guest is Chris Horn, the president of the Arts Alliance of Yamhill County. Welcome, Chris. Thank you for having me. I'm glad that we could finally get this, this interview. I'm glad to be here. Okay, so let's talk about the Arts Alliance and mm -hmm. everything that's going on. Okay. Um, what would you like to know? Well, Sharon Morgan was just on and is going, in fact, to come back in a couple of weeks and talk about the big, the big survey, mm -hmm. you know, and, and mapping the economic impact of the arts in Yamhill County, which is part of what the Arts Alliance is right. going to be doing with the Cultural Coalition and that okay. whole thing. But let's talk about some of the programs that the Arts Alliance kind of oversees. Oh, we love to talk it, about our programs. Okay. <laughs> This is one of them. Yes, this that's show? right. Right, that's okay. right. Yeah, one of our favorites. Um, we also uh, have been um, helping the artists that do um, the uh, Art Harvest Studio Tour for years and years and right. years. Right, and um, that's been a very successful program that uh, we. Um, one of our programs. Uh, a little newer but uh, also successful has been the um, uh, Terroir Creative Writing Festival which has uh, ventured into the creative arts, a little, the writing, uh, literary arts a little bit more and that's been, that's becoming very, very popular and successful. We're real pleased with how how well that's been received. Mm -hmm. And um, Paper Gardens is another program that we've done that that has been... Um, that goes way back. Way back, way mm -hmm. back. And um, uh, that's... It, it, it's wonderful to have programs that all ages can, can participate in. And uh, there is a... Um, there is a visual arts element to that as well because they um, have a contest for um, the art that's going to be in the chat book and and um, um, it's that that was one of the first programs I ever um, read about from AAYC before I was a member or involved in it. Really? I thought that was, okay. yes. I read about it uh, in somewhere and uh, was so impressed. thought that was such a good idea. You know, I, I feel like going way back to, you know, maybe when I first got involved, which was probably about 1995, so mm -hmm. it's been, you know, 20 years ago or so, that, the, I, that you know, Paper Gardens was going on, but it was sort of, you know, we really feel like when people think of the arts, they think of the visual arts, you know, painting right. they and forget drawing all of the others, and, yes. and really forget, you know, okay, if there's performing art and there's literary art right. and there's all these other sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And I, I think in particular, you know, that Paper Gardens has been one of the few things maybe that's, mm -hmm. that's really spoken to that community of people who, like me, couldn't draw anything if they had to, but, you know, maybe still love to, to write and to read, certainly. Mm -hmm. And then with Terroir, I think Terroir is just amazing, the writing yeah. festival. It, it's just... I think it just gets better every it year. It really does. It's, yeah. it's so good, yeah. I think that we've, I, I really think that we've uh, tried to embrace the literary arts and provide... Um, provide programming for the people of Yamhill County in in those areas. Mm -hmm. um, we have, uh, we do a lot with the, um, um, of course, with Art Harvest Studio Tour sure. for the visual artists. Absolutely, yeah. Um, Art, Arts Alliance has also, for years, uh, been a sponsor of the Lavender Festival. And uh, the Lavender Festival, um, I, I can't remember how many years they've actually been a um, sponsor of that event. The art, uh, the plein air paint out and art show portion mm -hmm, of it mm -hmm. is what they specifically sponsor. And, um, uh, and that is, we're still uh, active in that. We're, 
um, it's moved into Newburgh into the Cultural Center and uh, uh, will still be sponsor sponsoring the art show portion mm -hmm. of that event as well. So I think we've you know we've tried very hard to um, um, address the visual arts uh, uh, artists in our programming. I really like to see um, maybe a new program for uh, performance art, mm -hmm. um, music, um, performance of all types. I, that would be something that I'd like to see the uh, Art Alliance uh, maybe find a new program in that area. And, mm -hmm. we're, and we're always open to uh, launching new programs. Well, and then there's the grants that you do. Mm -hmm. I mean, so mm -hmm. many grants for so many different projects. Mm -hmm. You know, almost almost anything that would fall under, you know, art or culture is kind of eligible for a grant from the Arts Alliance. Right, and we do uh, two. Um, at this time, we're only doing two. We'd like to grow that sometime into um, a more significant number of uh, scholarships for high school seniors mm -hmm. that are going on uh, into um, further education in the arts. Um, last year, the and people think specifically, oh, they're going to be a musician or they're going to be an artist, a, a visual artist. Last year, one of the um, uh, winners uh, is going to be a medical illustrationist. Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. The other one wants to be a director. Like a film director. Film director. Oh, okay. Great. Or, or um, film or... Um, Lucrative, Perform, yeah, lucrative yeah. Uh, MTV videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, it's much broader than that. We sure. look at um, it, they do need to be um, furthering their education in the arts. They need to be going on into college mm -hmm. um, with an emphasis on some area of the arts. But that is really broad, and and um, I think we're uh, we've seen some really interesting. Um, scholarship applications. And you know, I think it's true too that somebody's 17 and they, you know, they're a senior and they, I want to be in the arts, I'm going to be this or whatever. Then they get there and they take a few classes and they think, you know, I like that better. And it's, right. it, it's still, you know, it's still in the arts, like the person with the medical illustrator. Mm -hmm. You just don't know, how, you know, what's going to pique your curiosity exactly. or your interest. And that's the whole point of education. Is and to, she was an amazing yeah. artist. Uh, the young lady who won that is from um, uh, Newburgh and is a friend of my granddaughter. Oh, and really? She was an incredible young artist, wow. um, visual artist, and uh, I was, I was, I, I guess I wasn't prepared for. I had no idea what she was planning when she graduated, and was I just thought that was terrific. That is terrific. Yeah, lots of fun. Yeah. So, but we are looking, we're always, uh, always have our eyes and ears open for a new program. Mm -hmm. um, and if, you know, we love to hear from people if they have an idea um, and we can kind of guide them as to what we want to see, how, how fleshed out that idea needs to be. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, we can kind of help them in that regard, but um, we're always looking for new programming and, and new always, ways to support the arts. And always looking to grow the membership right, too. Right. And with um, volunteers and members and exactly donors, donors, <laughs> patrons. Of That's how we pay for all of, of this. Of course, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we had our uh, teacher grants uh, program that we did for a number of years and um, uh, we took a, a year or two off from that. We actually did not have applications for that um, year before last so mm -hmm. we kind of uh, took a hiatus from it and we're uh, starting that back this year. We're excited to be back uh, to the teachers, you know, uh, being able to help the teachers uh, perhaps um, execute 
projects that they want to do that they're not funded for. And weren't you doing also too like an you know an artist in residence thing in the schools? Uh, I th or maybe that was part of the teacher grant right. to bring I somebody think that in. Was, that right. was part of the, the grant program. Mm -hmm. That was part of the grant program. And the grant program was actually very broad. It was um, it, it was the artists in residence. Um, it, I think we've done grants that was just materials for very special projects. And yeah. uh, uh, so that's, that's an area that we are hoping uh, that we'll be able to uh, to grow that the the amount of money that we can put into that program mm -hmm. I, we really want to see that grow uh, so we're in fact I would like to um, see that number raised up a bit before we even start looking at more uh, scholarships right Kind of grow the programs that right. you that right. you're already doing. Exactly. You know, get them exactly. a little, flush them out a little, as you say. Right. Right. Okay. So, so here we are in the month of January. So, really coming up next is Paper Gardens and in Terroir. Terroir, yeah. yeah. Uh, and probably ter right in the middle of preparations for all of those. Right. Right. They're just, uh, you know, um, they just start in earnest, uh, really hitting the ground running and in, in after the first of the year every year and uh, um, and the art harvest is uh, hard at work getting all of their mm -hmm. uh, preliminary work done for all the juries year, the juries mm -hmm. and uh, getting applications out to new artists and um, I think they had 36 or 39 last year um, and they have had new, they've had new uh, participants every year. So now, is this is might this be a good time to talk about if you've um, been able to designate an, a coordinator for Art Harvest this year? Um, I believe that we have mm -hmm. a new uh, coordinator, but I want to be sure. That I don't. I'm not sure if mm -hmm. the contract is signed. So okay. I, I want to be real. Okay. Next time we talk. Next time we talk. <laughs> we'll chat again. Yeah, we'll chat again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, you know, I, it's always a fun time of year. It's the winter, but all the little things are, are happening mm -hmm. and everything's kind of cooking to burst forth in the spring and the summer. Exactly. So it, it's, it's fun. One of the things that I really oh, have always loved about Paper Gardens is all the submissions that you get, you know, from the grade school kids yes. and how you know, maybe one or two teachers will really take it and run with it. Right. And then you'll get like 30 poems from one class of children. And I think, oh, I love this, you know? Absolutely. It's, it's so much fun. So. Absolutely. I, uh, that's, that's true. You'll see that at Paper Gardens a lot. Mm -hmm. I noticed uh, uh, last year I participated at Daffodil Festival in oh, right. Remedy. Right. And... Um, uh, I personally participated. It was the first art show I ever entered. Oh, oh. I know. Wasn't that fun? Did you win a blue ribbon? <laughs> no, <laughs> but you had a good time. I was time. just thrilled that I was. I, I actually opened my car door and took my piece into the building <laughs> because uh, I really had had uh, been inactive artistically for. 30 years. So. Wow, that's wonderful. Chris, I'm so glad that you got to come today oh, and we so and we um, had this chance to chat a little bit mm -hmm. and please feel free to come back when you've got more news. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Perfect.